In this sizzling episode, we're tackling the burning questions you've always had about achieving the impossible. How do you respond when someone tells you your dreams are out of reach? Is there a secret formula to turn skepticism into motivation? Let's get into it, people. Welcome to the Unfiltered Liming Podcast. Join us as we reflect on our personal journeys and share our insights, experiences, and stories. From food to music, language to custom, we explore what it means to straddle two cultures and find a sense of belonging in both. Whether you're a first-generation Caribbean-American, a seasoned veteran, or simply curious about the rich tapestry of cultures that make up the Caribbean diaspora. This podcast is for you. We are your host, Bertie, the Hasten Sensation. Lisa, the Dominica Diva. No one's talking, so let's get unfiltered. Pause. <laughs> we are here because... We are talking about life lessons this season. And I think one of the biggest life lessons that I have learned and I've tried to pass on to, you know, second generation, my son, nieces, nephew, is naysayers. Because we all have them, right? Let's be honest. They're they're there. You can't do this, you can't do that. So this episode came about because I had family member that had an older sibling that basically this person, you know, was, was younger and was trying to figure out their life. They were trying, we all in our, in our twenties, mid twenties, we're figuring out life. And not only that, as a first generation, this person basically was in the country for you know a few years they were trying to figure out a lot of things about their life about what they wanted to go dreams stuff like that and this siblings which was happened to be an older sibling feel that the person was listening to what they wanted them to do so that calls caused a drift they went their their way when they went their way the person basically told them oh you go out there you're not going to be able to achieve anything without me That, that You're not going to be able to stand on your own. And again, mm. this is a sibling, an older sibling of this person that said this to them. And they're supposed to be kind of like a role model, an example, a mentor. You know what I mean? Just, you know, all of that. So this, this is how this conversation came about. And I really wanted it to tie it to this episode, to this season, just because I feel like a lot of times how we respond to naysayers helps either in a positive, positive way in our life, or it could just cripple us, right? And I'm one of those people, I'm going to be the first one to let y'all know. And my life lesson I'm going to cuss you the fuck out if you ever come to me with being naysayer and you want to tell me that I ain't going to achieve nothing without you. Let me tell you something. Please turn right back around. And I kind of promised I wasn't going to cuss this season. But this is a hot topic for me because naysayers are like one of the biggest thing that I just, I don't know, my skin itches. Like I want to punch you in the face. I want, okay, I can't say I'm going to put you in the face. I just want to rip your, I don't know what I want to say. It's just, to me, nobody in this world should be telling anybody that they can't achieve anything without them. First of all, because you ain't God. Let's be, let's start out with, you can't even create yourself. Especially if you're a male, a woman gave birth to you. Right? Let's be real. You ain't God. You ain't controlling shit over here. Like, to tell Somebody, but I digress. Let's get into the episode because I just had to get this off because at the end of the day, naysayers are just like that thing in life. If we learn the lessons early on, we could, again, use it as motivation. And being first generation, 
any type of generation, whether you're Caribbean or American, you're going to have those people in your life. And sometimes they're family members. Sometimes they're friends. And sometimes that's the hard part that I feel like for me, I don't have a problem cutting motherfuckers off, whether they're family and friends. Let me start out with that. But some people do, because in the Caribbean, in our culture, it's about family. It's about kumbaya. So let's navigate this topic, Lisa, and let's get into yeah. it. Because at the end of the day, you know, I just, yeah. we need to talk about it. We really need to yeah. talk about so it. Help I the have, people I have, a, I have, listen, <laughs> that is a sore subject with me. The only difference with me from you, I'm not going to curse you out. Because I am a believer. I can I can show you better than I can tell you. I am a believer of that. And right. I mean, the oldest, oldest saying in the world, I mean, granted, you know, our girl Beyonce said it in her song, but it goes way, way further back before she was born. You know, your best revenge is your paper. That's true. Your best That's revenge true. is your paper. And my tactic is like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Watch me. Watch me now. Watch me now. <laughs> hey. Watch me now. Oh watch me now. Oh my God. Hey. So, okay. So, another thing, too, you know what that also made me think of? Does it mm-hmm. sting more whether it's a friend that says it or does it sting more when it's a family member who says it? For me, I think it depends on the level of friendship. Mm-hmm. And it also, I think for both, it depends both on the level, because even though we could be family, but if we're not close, then, but it it depends. But at the end of the day is the audacity of either or to, to be where you think because you help somebody because again, God blesses you and because you've had people bless you. So that's why you're able to be a blessing. And then to just be in a place where you have the audacity to just put that on someone because you can, that's disgusting to me. So that's why part of sometimes for me, I say it because I don't think people sometimes realize like, first of all, who the fuck you think you're talking to? Like, yep. you know, sometimes you got to remind motherfuckers no. who you are. Listen, and maybe, no, I maybe know. I'm not telling you to cuss people out, but sometimes you need, you do need to walk on somebody and remind them like, do you know who the fuck I am? First of all, I'm a child of God. Like, don't play with me. Don't mess with me. Don't be coming and saying, because at the end of the day, we all have had other people help us. And I'm sure the people that have helped you are not saying, oh, you couldn't have made it without me and all this other stuff. So remember, we always are passing along. So the moment that you get this authority or you're able to help someone and your mindset is that you want people like, to me, that's like, you want people to be slave to you? Like, I don't like, and especially if it's a family member, I think it's, I don't think it's worse, but I do feel like if you're supposed to be this, what they call it, matriarch, patriarch of your family, and that's your mindset, then the foundation of your family, to me, is not going to be solid. People should not have to worry about if they choose to make a decision about their lives, knowing you could be a support and say, okay, I may not agree with your decision. There's pros and cons. They still have to make the decision themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. But for you to mm-hmm. become a naysayer to tell them that they're going to make it. You yeah. didn't make mistakes so in your there's life. An, yeah. There's another aspect of this also, too, where it happens in the school system where it starts off with children and teachers saying that to students. Yeah. Because yeah. I experienced that. Really? I've experienced that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's another place that it comes from too. I mean, we, people send their children to school, you send them to school and you expect that they're learning, but you'll be surprised at what teachers will say to kids. And those kids sometimes won't come home and tell their parents or they Mm -hmm. will tell their parents. And you know, in the Caribbean home, if you come home and tell them that your parent that your teacher done said something, your parents ain't listening to you. That your parents no. gonna be like, they probably right. You wasn't listening. You wasn't right, paying attention, right, and you right. was talking too much in class. So 
We going right. to believe the teacher. But that's neither here nor there. Right. right. That's another piece, too, that I think is very disheartening and mm -hmm. detrimental to kids. But it's mm -hmm. unfortunate because kids don't have that. Some do. Mm -hmm. You have your little sprinkles because it comes from the home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a lot of times kids don't have the gumption to know, like, I'm going to stand up to this adult and mm -hmm. tell this adult, no, you're not going to talk to me that way. And I'm mm -hmm. going to show you or whatever. So, right, right. You know what I mean? That's another area, too, where I feel like the naysayers, it, it sometimes, unfortunately, it's the teachers in the school. Right. And I think like how you were saying, like, and I guess for me, in a way, because I do feel you have more of the Caribbean response, right? Of the smiling and the nod, prove them wrong, right? With your steel drum soundtrack, right? But in American, I feel like maybe that's where my American side, American culture comes in because I'm more about like the determined spirit, which is still the same thing. But I'm, but I guess it's the same thing. Caribbean and American are both like, watch me, right? And things like that. Yeah. So, yeah, at the end of the day. But how do you, but like you said, bringing in the point of the teacher, how do you face naysayers? You know, what do you do when people do tell you can't do something? Well, I'm really, okay, I'm going to talk about in my career. If I've had someone say that to me, I've had someone say that in my career too. Yeah. Listen, they be trying me, yo. They be straight trying me out here in these streets, but it's all good. I think also for me, it drives me to be like, okay, it's kind of like the same thing. Like, okay, mm -hmm. that's how you feel. You're entitled to feel how you feel, but my work is going to show different. Mm -hmm. And then when the next promotion comes by, that's when you walk past the office and be like, hey, how you doing? You good today? <laughs> you know what? Let me go. You want me to go get you some coffee? I, I, you know what? Coffee's on me today. Let me right. go get you that coffee. So, right. yeah. So you basically, yeah, you're turning that negative energy into fuel, right? For success. To fuel for and, me. Yeah. And that's true because I do believe, like, at the end of the day, you can use them for your own personal, as your own personal cheerleaders, right? So that's the thing. You can face them. In a way where, like Lisa is saying, you know, you're determined, watch me, whatever, and then use that. But at the same time, don't let it cripple you. Because, I, and I guess goes back to children, sometimes that could cripple you. Especially if you're hearing it at such a young age. And let's say, like you said, in a Caribbean home, like... Your parents bring you to school here, so they, they, they believe that the adult has the authority. The adult is always right. Sometimes in the Caribbean mind, Caribbean home, that's the standard. Like, teachers are right, adults are right, you're a child or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think in the American mm -hmm. culture, that's different. I think in the American, American culture has taught us that, no, adults are not always right. And they have, I think, taught us a little bit different that we can express ourselves right we can go and say something if some somebody has said or was a naysayer to us is that you have to just make sure that when you do it is in the right platform and that you do have to have your ducks in a row and as a child sometimes it is hard but if you keep saying the same thing and you will get the right person that will listen to you you should never yeah. never I think that's the piece up. that we miss. Yeah. That's the piece Never, is to be like to keep pushing. Yeah. Yeah. Never let naysayers keep you from having your voice. Right? Yeah. The reason why I asked you the question before, does one sting more than the other opposed to if it comes from a family member, a friend, or somebody at work, or a stranger in the street? First of all, the stranger mm -hmm. in the street, who are you? <laughs> that don't mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Friends right. and co-workers, I'm going to be like, watch me now. Okay, whatever. I find for me, when it comes from a family member, it stings. Mm. It stings and it makes me angry. Oh, I don't get angry okay. with the other. I don't get angry mm -hmm. with the others that may say it. I'm just like, all right, well, I'm just going to work hard and do whatever. Mm -hmm. But when it comes mm -hmm. from a family member, I get angry 
And I think to a point where, I mean, I could admit, I think it has crippled me in the past. Mm. It has crippled me in the past. So to, to what you're saying for our D lineman crew that's listening out there, you just going to have to find a way to push through it. You're going to have to find a way to you. It is, it's it, whatever's in you is going to be in mm-hmm. you and you got to pull from that. And it's mm-hmm. a, a fight, yo. You just got to fight that and be like, if you really want to do it, you got to fight it. Mm-hmm. And, and you I, have to yeah. be able to, yeah, you have to be able to, I think the other life lesson in that is you have to be able to, if you do it and it doesn't work out, those naysayers are going to be like, well, it's, but it's okay. You can still walk with your, your head held up high because you did it I, on your own term. You mm-hmm. tried it. And it didn't work out. And it's okay because you learned something out of it. So whether yeah. you achieve the goal or whether there was a detour on how you achieved the goal, because we're not going to say, oh, you failed. You just may not have been, you just didn't take the right path or maybe it wasn't the right time. So, but you still learned something in that lesson, right? You still got mm-hmm. something from it. So that's where you got to deep, deep. And just be able to stand on your own. But at the same time, what irritates me sometimes is we allow naysayer to have such a factor on us. And then we Mm -hmm. run right back to them. So that's the thing for me. And I think in my Caribbean, in the American, like, I'm not ever, if you done said naysaying thing about me, best believe, family, friend, whatever you are. We're not having that type of relationship because you've already proven to me that you don't believe in me. That's one. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming back to you. There's just the level of relationship with me has changed on because I already now see how you view me. And like Lisa said, it is tough when it's family members. But at the same time, I'm going to express myself to you and I'm going to share with you, hey, guess what? Because you have doubts about me, we the relationship may not be the same. I'm going to let you know. You're not going to have to guess where a relationship is. You're not going to have to wonder why I'm no longer associating with you the same, why I'm not sharing my dream with you, why I'm not certain things, I'm not doing that with you. Because at the end of the day, you've already been a naysayer. We don't need to be where you're feeding negativity my way. Thank you. Love you from a distance. God bless you. And I think for me, my determination comes from From my dad. Yeah, it comes from my dad. So that's probably why I have such a thing when people say stuff like me. Because I remember this clearly. My dad was the one person when I was young. This phrase stayed with me. He was like, don't ever let anybody tell you what you can be. And I think, yeah, and I think for me, that has always been like, because he knew, first of all, the type of child that I was, right? And then, so he was just like, my spirit, he was just like, never let anybody take that away from you. And the thing is, I've had people try to, because I remember, it's funny that we talk about it, because I remember like... I'm I'm a positive person and I laugh a lot, right? And I remember we yeah. went somewhere and this adult, and again, I was a child. I remember this, this adult, it was two adults. It was me and my sister. We were sitting, waiting somewhere. And I was being a kid, laughing and stuff like that. So the woman goes, well, you're always smiling. Why are you always smiling? Just being, and then it's funny because the other adult, the other guy adult was like, let the girl smile. She has a beautiful smile. Let her be. So for me, I've, again, have been witness to, and I appreciate that because even though one person was like, why are you smiling? And it kind of like damper me. But the mm-hmm. when the other person was like, let her smile. She has a, she has a beautiful smile. Let her be a kid. Mm-hmm. That just, again, boosts me to be like, oh, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I think you also need, like Lisa was saying, that louder voice. That allows you to be who you are because you are going to have that one person for whatever Mm -hmm. reason, whatever they're going on in the world, they're going to be naysayer. And sometimes it has nothing to do with you. Sometimes it's Mm -hmm. their own insecurity, their own whatever. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like it doesn't matter Caribbean, American, 
you don't have it, you're going to yeah. definitely have it in both. And you're going to have to face it. You're going to have to stand up to it. You're going to have to yeah. make it very clear what your triggers are, what your dreams and your goals, and stick to that. You can't let yeah. people in fear. Because naysayers, let me tell you, in life, from the moment you're born to the moment you die, they're going to be there. There they're are people be there. in life. There What's another word life. for naysayers? What's another word for them? Haters. Haters. Sometimes the haters make the world go round. Sometimes they make the world they go do. round. They do. And the funny thing is, that's the other thing too. We're talking about life lessons, right? So when you actually go back, and again, we're trying to help you guys, the Liming crew, learn this so you could avoid a lot of landmines, right? So the thing with naysayers, I feel like in life that I learned is the fact that they're naysayer because they ain't got their shit together. Mm -hmm. So they're projecting on other people. Like, let's be very uh, honest with naysayer. They don't, Mm -hmm. they don't know what they're doing with their life. So instead of focusing on making sure they're doing the work in their life, guess what? They're just projecting on the people around them. And sometimes if you're not wise enough to, and that's the thing with me, then I'm a little different. You're not about to be a naysayer, especially if you're a family member and a friend and you somebody close, like Lisa said, strangers, I don't know you, I don't care. Family members and friends, if I know your shit, don't think you're going to be naysaying me and I'm not going to look you dead in the eye. <laughs> Are you sure about that? You sure about that? You sure you want, you sure you want to do that? Don't do it okay. with me. Don't do it mm-hmm. with me. And I'm not going to be disrespectful, but I'm going to be like, you trying to tell, have you fixed that? Because the thing is, don't point out my stuff when you got stuff, because we could go toe to toe and I'm better at this game than you. And I'm going to hurt your feelings. I'm going to hurt your feelings. And I'm going to go right back to sleep and be quite okay and have my peace and the Lord will know. Mm -hmm. Don't do it to yourself. So that's the other thing too. You can't, it's like allowing People, all, every person in this life has ups, down challenges. Everybody yep. has opportunity that they can work on. Everyone has something that they're fearful, that they work. Everybody. So don't ever allow another human being that is also oh. not put together 100% allow you oh. to deter who you are and what you want to be in this life. That's what I would be. I would say no. about nature because that's what they're trying yeah. to do. They're trying to deter you from having the it's best always. damn life that you could possibly have. American, Caribbean, first, second, third generation, whoever you are, if you don't listen to nothing else we say this whole season, be the damn best you that you could possibly be. You know, this what that was my high school graduation because in my little high school graduation all of us spoke i graduated Mm -hmm. from a christian school all of us spoke it was eight of us and that was my speech i was like i'm going to be the best me in my life and i have been testament to that whether good Mm -hmm. bad whether you agree or with my life decision or not that don't mean nothing to me yep yep and i was gonna say another thing also too i was slipped my mind but no, you're absolutely right. The naysayers, they're haters, you know, and at the end of the day, use it as fuel. Like you said, mm-hmm. use it as fuel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say too. Another liner. Mm-hmm. Misery loves company. That's another thing. Cause it's yes. always, like you said, always the ones who don't have their ish together. The, the ones who have their stuff together, they're going to be trying to help you get up yes. somewhere. The ones that have their stuff together, the ones who don't have their stuff together. They're going to try their hand. So we got naysayers, we got haters, and we got misery loves company. Mm-hmm. D-Liming crew, we're here to support you. We're here to support each other in the comments. That's another mm-hmm. thing also, too. One thing we will not tolerate in the comments is negative. Disclaimer. Negativity. Disclaimer. Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay, thank you. No, I'm just, I'm just agreeing disclaimer. with you. Disclaimer. Yeah. Lisa's no, no, no. doing the Thank disclaimer. You. Lisa's yes. doing the disclaimer because normally it's me. But I yes. appreciate because no. she said it in a nice way. I was going to be like, don't come with this bullshit over here. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we're here to support each other. 
We're here to create a community. We're here to bring each other, lift us each other up. If you feel like you need, you have that day where you know what? I need an extra push. I need an extra um, word of confidence. I need an extra motivation today. You drop it in the comments and we mm-hmm. going to lift each other up. That's what another thing that this channel is about is yeah. lifting each other up. Listen, being first generation Caribbean parents, listen, we need all the support we can, mm-hmm. can get. We need all the uplifting we can right, get. Right, right, okay? right. So let's not forget. I, I just had to put that out there. Yeah, I completely agree with you. You're absolutely correct. Because if you if we don't support each other, then the naysayer voice is going to be the louder, the loudest voice in your head. So sometimes mm-hmm. if you can't be your positive, loud voice, come listen to a podcast like us. Have the conversation so that we're able to help each other because it's not easy. Like Lisa said, again, our, as you could clearly see, our experience or difference with naysayers, right? And the thing is, all of us have a different way of dealing with it, have found resources. So like for me, I pull from my dad telling me, don't let nobody, you know, Tell me I can't be who I am. That's where I pull from. So you have to have, where do you pull from, Lisa? (laughs) I pull from, I can show you better than I can tell you. There you go. So there's all, there's, there has to be something that you're able to either tell yourself, pull from, go deep down in. And if you can't, if you haven't found that, then this is where you take the time to do the work, right? Because in life, let's say you got to do the work. So when naysayers come, you have to be able to, again, these are things that we've learned over the years that we're sharing with you. Free, by the way, because this could be a master class that we could be charging for. So y'all, you're welcome for us sharing this information with you. But <laughs> just like to keep it light. Yes, right. find the resources and do the work. Do the work as to what, or are you telling yourself, what did somebody tell you, whether you were young, whether you were this, that's keeping you from being, making your mark. You can't go back. You got one life. You can't make it up. You can't, you can't come back unless you believe in reincarnation. You believe in this other stuff out there, which is fine. We're Listen, here to support. Life is short. Life is short. <laughs> and tomorrow's not promised. So again, naysayers, are always going to be there. Yes, they are. But that doesn't mean that we have to pay attention to them. That doesn't mean that we have to feed into them. That doesn't mean that we have to acknowledge them. We -hmm. just could use them as, again, fuel. We could use them as, Lisa said, I could show you better than I could tell you. We could use them as, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, we can we can use it for a lot of different things in a positive way. Right? Mm-hmm. So that's what we want you guys to learn from this lesson. Remember, stand on your own. Make the mistakes on your own. And don't allow nobody. I don't really mean that. If you there's nothing else, don't allow and anybody to just dim your light. Shine bright like Rihanna said, like a diamond. Because you're worth it. I mean, there's only one you. God made you. You are unique and special. So are the naysayer, but we just, they just not for you. (laughs) That's the truth. Lime and learn. Ain't that a thing. All right. We're going to go into our tips right now. D Lyman crew, we got some tips for you this week. Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with positive and supportive people. That's a must. Believe in yourself and your abilities. Use doubts as motivation to prove the naysayers wrong. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So, yep. So that's a wrap for today's episode, folks. Remember, whether you're sipping on a coconut or Starbucks, the key <laughs> is to dance to the rhythm of your own dreams. Yes, it is. Don't give up. Absolutely. Whether you're chasing your goals with a Caribbean breeze or a New York hustle, keep pushing forward. Until next time, keep the vibes high and the dreams higher. Peace.
Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of the Unfiltered Liming Podcast. We hope you enjoy the conversation and gain some valuable insight. Don't forget to subscribe to the show so you can catch every new episode and leave us a review so we can continue to bring you fresh, exciting content. And if you have a topic you'd like us to discuss or a story you'd like us to share, please reach out to us. Join us again next Thursday for another unfiltered conversation about the rich diversity and complexity of the Caribbean American experience. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep celebrating the unique cultural heritage that make us who we are. Unfiltered Liming is edited and produced by Unfiltered Liming.